Hey guys, it's Lam here again, your tech guide. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am here in my new place. Um, my, I do have two cameras now. I have one here and then of course in the front. However, I'm still working on the second camera. I'm going to try to put this on the side, but I don't have the bracket to do so. So, you know, you're going to see this quite often in my video, but I will, I'll be um, working on it that eventually this thing will be gone um, anytime soon. So anyways, today's video, I'm going to do a three months follow up on the watch three on the Samsung watch three uh, blood pressure oxygen monitor and the heart rate. We're going to see if um, it is still accurate or not. So I was looking at the app and it looks like I do need to calibrate the blood pressure again, as you can see from there. And also I do have two oxygen monitor here that was sent out for me to, um, to review and check out. So we're going to use this to compare it when we do our blood, blood oxygen tests and also the heart rate. We're going to check that out as well. So first thing first, I got my watch three on my wrist and we're going to try to calibrate the blood pressure and we're going to follow exactly what the picture looks like here. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this guy here, my blood pressure cuff on the opposite arm and I'm going to grab me a chair because a lot of you guys were were um, leaving me a, me a lot of comment that you know my blood pressure the diastolic is quite high usually you know the normal rate for a diastolic is between 60 to 90 so I was still within range and also I was kind of leaning my back while doing the tests and uh, Technically, that is not the proper way to do it. So I've I got a chair here. So now I'm sitting properly and I do have my other watch. I do have my watch on the other hand. So hopefully we will get a better accurate reading. But I don't know if you guys can see me from the top view camera now since I'm kind of moved back. But let me try to forward my arm or try to move my camera on the top here, adjust it so that you guys can see it more. Hold on. Uh, okay. Hold on. Let me adjust. Okay. So hopefully you guys can see it better. Next time I will be sitting on the opposite side guys so that there's a um, space for my legs, but the angle on that other side is facing the window and it might be too bright for the camera. But anyways, I hope it can still pick this up where I am sitting right now. Let me take a look, just a quick glance. Okay, so it does pick up, somewhat pick up. Anyways, let's do this quickly here. All right, so I'm gonna start. Okay, and we will, it says next. Okay, right there, next. And I will press the blood pressure and I'm gonna stay quiet, guys. Okay, 118, oh. Okay, so there you go. We got 118 over 78. 78 and 
policy 73. So we have to do two more tests. Uh oh, let me redo that again. I think the first two, I uh, did it on my left arm. I don't know if I could recalibrate it again. Shoot. Okay. Well, anyways, it was pretty accurate, all those tests that I did. So now let's do the actual tests. So let me go to my blood pressure app over here. That's the ACG. Okay, so we're gonna measure. Okay, so 121 over 83 versus 114 over 75. So as you can see, it is quite off. Um, like again, I kind of messed up with the two calibration. I had the cuff along the same arm when I was calibrating it. I don't know if I could um, fix that. But I should have uh, followed the instruction. I didn't... S Okay, anyways, let's try two more and see. Okay. So that was my mistake, guys. Okay, 118.82. So as you can see, it is quite off. Um, I'm going to try to figure out how to fix this, the calibration again, because we are completely off here. So let's do a follow-up on that some other time, but let's do the blood oxygen and see what kind of reading we get from there. Let me fix the camera angle here. Okay, so here we go. We got some products here that was sent out to me. I haven't uh, really played with it or tested it out, but you know, I told the person who sent it to me that I'm just gonna basically do a comparison test with the Watch 3 and nothing more. And um, these guys are pr uh, pretty, up there the price so it should be quite accurate so look at this guys we'll do this one here first so this one goes in your on your finger all right and then you have the button there to turn it on looks really cool Okay, it does have your USB here, micro USB, if you want to charge it. And uh, it's flashing one there. So let me look for my blood oxygen or my, yeah, blood oxygen. So you can see it's already picking up. The reading, I don't know if you guys could see that on the camera. Okay, so I'm gonna look for the oxygen here, oops. Okay, we got the blood oxygen, we're gonna try to match it. And here we go. Okay, so it's 
we're doing it again all right so we got a 99 percent on the watch and for the finger one it's 98 percent so one point off guys is pretty pretty good okay um, we can do one more Okay, 99% and on our finger, it's 98%. All right, so pretty, pretty good guys, pretty good. Let's uh, try the other one now, this one here, just to see. And this one basically goes around your wrist and it's got uh, an attachment to it that you plug in which is so cool guys if you are you know running a lot this would be perfect for you guys or if you do have some medical issue that you really want to monitor yourself carefully and uh, constantly this is a perfect uh, tool for you guys to have which could you know save your life right so you just insert this on your finger or whatever finger you want so I can feel the vibration already. You know what? I could probably, yeah, I could put place this on my other hand. That's fine. So you can place it here. And put your finger on here. Uh, that that thing will not work okay that's fine so yeah um, you know if you are do have medical condition uh, issue or condition like you know having shortness of breath or something that involves with your lungs this will definitely be a lifesaver guys to have so all you have to do is just put this in your finger around your finger here usually it should be around here but you know they said that you could put it like that all right so we're gonna do two more on this and see what kind of uh, accuracy we have so let me sit down again and it looks like it's still reading on my finger here. So let's just wait until this thing starts and pick up my oxygen level. Okay, so it's already picking up. Okay, so let's begin with this. Okay, 99% and the other one is 97%. So off by two there, it's still not too bad. We'll do one more. And then we'll go on to the heart rate monitor. Okay, 100% and then we have 98% here. So off by two on this one here. Okay, let's go check out the heart rate. Okay, so I put the continuous reading on the heart rate so we're gonna see the heart rate on this one here so we got 79 versus 77 they're pretty much identical guys 82 82 81 on the watch 3 and 82 81 now 81 on the watch 3 79 so they're they're pretty close they're they're accurate Let's uh, put this guy too on the other one. Check out the heart rate, see how accurate it is. So 
So 88, 88, 87, 88, now 88, 88, 88, 89, 88, 89, 87, 87. So they're pretty dead on accurate guys when it comes to heart rate, the blood oxygen. This one was off by two and this one's off by one. So it's still pretty good. And of course the blood pressure test, that's a fail. And before I leave guys, we'll do a ECG so that you guys can see it. All right. So just follow the instruction where to place your finger or rest your finger. Okay, so this ECG does not show signs of atrial fibrillation. All right, and it should show on your app the reading and it's right there guys what what's the date today december 20 1240 right now so that is the reading if you have any concern just show it to your doctor and so forth and he will try to figure it out and you can view this on the pdf right here i don't know if you guys could see that on the camera but there it is so you can show this to your doctor email it especially right now we do have covid you can just email this send it out let them read it and hopefully everything is good so this video was quite long guys um everything was raw you know um we had to do what we got to do you know after three months just to see how, what's the accuracy on the watch three but of course i will definitely redo the blood pressure test again because um, the first two tests that I did I put the cuff in one arm instead of the opposite so that's why we were pretty off when we did the test anyways that's pretty much it guys I will definitely fix up around all this setup that I need to do like again I you know I just moved in here and hopefully in a couple more videos this will should be uh, nice and uh, much better set up Anyways, that's pretty much it guys. Once again, thank you for watching my video. Until then, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.